By using vectors, we simultaneously show the properties of line segments being parallel, as well as the relationship between the lengths between two line segments. In order to prove the statement from the example, you need to show that the vector mn equals 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the vector ab. First, you need to use the triangle laws to rewrite the vector mn. The vector mn equals the vector me plus the vector ed plus the vector dn. Since the points M and N are midpoints of the sides EF and CD respectively, the vector ME is half of the vector FE and the vector DN is half a vector DC, equals half the vector FE plus the vector AB plus half the vector DC. You can use the commutative property of the vector addition vector a plus vector b equals vector b plus vector a and find another direction vector od that is equal to vector fe equals half the vector od plus half the vector dc plus the vector ab now use the distributive property of multiplication of a sum of two vectors by a scalar equals half the vector od plus the vector dc plus the vector AB. Use the triangle law for the vectors in the brackets and use that the direction vector OC is equal to the direction vector AB equals half the vector OC plus the vector AB equals half the vector AB plus the vector AB. Simplify the sum equals 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the vector AB. So the vectors MN and AB are parallel, therefore the line segment MN is parallel to the line segment AB. Also, since the scalar is 3 divided by 2, the magnitudes of the vectors are in the same ratio. So MN equals 3 divided by 2 multiplied by AB.